Welcome Sagittarius to your weekly reading. This is for the 19th to the 26th of June. We are going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for this week. I'm starting off by pulling three oracle cards and this is going to give us our core messages, the main themes coming in for you for this week. And then what we will do is we will clarify everything further with the tarot to get deeper insight and deeper messages. Sagittarius, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. The first energy you are getting is number 19, flexible. So now we understand there is somewhere this week you're going to be asked to bend a little, compromise a little, be flexible in some way. You have number 52, mending. And this is a beautiful energy because it talks to us of correcting something, fixing something. You know, there might have been a breakdown in communication. You might have had a fallout in some way or another. And the mending energy is a corrective restorative energy. And lastly, you've got number 10, unfinished symphony. And unfinished symphony is unfinished business, my dear Sagittarius. Something still needs to be done, still needs to be completed in a certain area. Let's go ahead now and get your tarot cards. That's really where we're going to get deeper insight and meaning to our messages. So what I will do is I will start off by pulling a tarot card for each core message and then we will come back around again and clarify even further for deeper insight. So let's see now. What do we have coming in for Sagittarius this week, please? Let's see what we have for you. We have got the full card, the Knight of Swords, and the Hermit. Okay, so we're going to start off with the Flexible and the full card, and I'm just going to get your clarifier. So let's see what this full energy is for Sagittarius, please. The world. Oh, big energy actually, with the fool and the world coming out together. Now the fool and the world both speak to us of a new beginning. Something that has this energy of walking down a new road, something you haven't done before. It's a very exciting energy. Now this could already be in play or it could be an energy that comes up this week. It's the energy of being offered a new job, being offered a promotion, being offered to relocate. Something really big comes in. It could be a move. Please take it as it resonates because it will be so different for everybody. Now, because it's coming in under flexible, as this energy comes up and as you work through it, you are being asked to be flexible. Perhaps not everything is to your liking or not everything is exactly the way you want it. Because it's sitting under flexible, I do feel, my dear Sagittarius, with both these cards coming out, you're going to get the result you want. But it might not happen exactly the way you want it. With both the full and the world energy coming out here, it really lets us know that this is quite a significant change, a new beginning, a new start in some area. And you are being asked, Sagittarius, to be flexible because with these two cards coming out, you are going to get the result you want, the final outcome, this new beginning, this new change, whatever it is. These are two very good complementary cards with regards to closing off a cycle and starting something new. So you will get what you want. 
Just be willing to be adaptable. The more you can adapt, the more you can flow, the closer you're going to get to this energy. Very, very positive energy. Let's move on and see what the mending energy is. And we have the Knight of Swords. So we just want to see now what the Knight of Swords energy is for you. Right, let's see now. What is this Knight of Swords energy for Sagittarius, please? The Three of Swords, okay. Sagittarius, I'm going to take one more card here. I can see exactly what's happening, but I want to see if I can get more information for you. Right, let's see now if we can just get one more card for Sagittarius with regards to the Mending Energy. The Wheel of Fortune. You have a lot of energy of change and new beginnings, my dear Sagittarius. There is a great possibility that this energy, this flexible energy with this new start and our world energy is related to our mending energy. Now, this mending energy could be anything in your life. It could be a relationship, it could be a romantic relationship, a friendship, it could be a relationship with a boss, a colleague, a business partner, you name it. It will be so different for everybody. But Three of Swords is coming in and it tells me that you were really hurt about what happened here. And I feel there might have been some kind of a breakdown in this relationship. It could have even been an ending. Of this relationship. What I'm seeing here most of all, this mending energy is talking about the mending of your heart, okay? So however your heart was hurt, whatever this relationship was, I feel your heart is mending. Your heart is really on its way to being able to move on to the next chapter of your life. And Knight of Swords is telling me exactly that. This is the time where a change is coming in. It's a big change. It's a significant change. And you are ready to move forward past this heartache into the present and the future. Now, for some of my Sagittarius's, I do feel the mending energy could really be some kind of a reconciliation. And that will, of course, will depend on you. But the biggest energy I get is the mending of your heart and of you now feeling ready to take a great leap into the unknown, whether this was a love relationship, a friendship to find a new friend circle, if this was a business that failed, you're ready to start a new business. This is big energy of change, closing off the cycle of the broken heart, being hurt, disappointed, betrayed or let down and really charging into your present, into your future with this kind of speed because you're starting to feel so much better about yourself, so much stronger, and you've got all this zest for life now, and you're rearing to go. This is an incredibly positive energy. Right, let's move on now and see what this unfinished symphony is all about. And we have the hermit. So we just want to clarify the hermit for you. Right, let's see now, what is this Hermit energy for Sagittarius, please? Let's see what we have here for you. Eight of Pentacles, okay. Sagittarius, I actually feel for a lot of you, this could be one cohesive message. I think this unfinished symphony is relating to this mending energy that caused this Three of Swords energy. 
hermit is telling me that you have been really looking at it, doing the deep dive, the soul searching energy in terms of doing the work, whatever you needed to do in terms of moving out of the three of swords energy. It's taken time, but you've done the work. You've gone deep. You've looked at it. You've looked at yourself. You've looked at the other party. You understand exactly what went down. And now you're ready to move on. You're ready to finish the symphony. Remember, the unfinished symphony is loose ends. You are definitely tying up all loose ends. Eight of Pentacles, my dear Sagittarius, lets us know you move on. You're ready to get going in whatever area this happened for you. Remember, it's going to be different for everybody, but you're ready to get going. Not just to dip your toe in the water, you're ready to get back in the game stronger than ever because your heart has been mended. There's a beautiful big change coming in. Let's go ahead now and get a message from your angels for the week. So we just want to see now what your angels would like to share with you for this week. Let's see what we have for you, Sagittarius. Let go. Oh my gosh. Sagittarius, how apt is that? Your angels are coming in. And they are just letting you know it's time to let go of the Three of Swords energy. Let it go. You're ready to mend. You're ready to move on to something that is going to be so much better for you. You're ready to move onward. You're ready to move upward. And there is something incredibly wonderful waiting for you with all this beautiful energy. Looks like a very good week, my dear Sagittarius. So that's all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful week and I'm sending you all so much love.